In 2014, the Smithsonian became the home for the Congressional Gold Medal awarded to American World War II veterans of Japanese ancestry. The Congressional Gold Medal Digital Exhibition is a joint project being developed by the National Veterans Network, the Smithsonian Asian Pacific American Center, and the Smithsonian National Museum of American History. This interactive exhibit will bring to life the Congressional Gold Medal through the personal stories of all the Nisei soldiers who served in World War II with a focus on the 100th Infantry Battalion, 442nd Regimental Combat Team, Military Intelligence Service, and Occupation of Japan. Well, this is something that a person can experience in a museum as well as online, which is geared towards teachers, students, researchers, anyone who wants to learn about the Nisei soldier experience. Being able to use videos, whether it's on YouTube or through audio clips online in a digital exhibition, is able to put a voice and a life that really brings the kernel of meaning to this amazing story. Uh, my mother sent me to send him buddy from the Aurora camp. It has a thousand stitches. It's traditionally sent by family to their sons, especially if they go into combat. I carried it with me throughout the war. This item was very dear to me, it represented my, my mother and the love for her son. Another story is that of Takejiro Higa, who discovered that the same Japanese POWs he was interrogating had been his classmates before the war. And if they start crying, why are you crying? Well, we, until now, after this exam, uh, interrogation is over and our usefulness is over, you guys might take us over the hill and shoot them. Now, knowing that our own classmates on the other side of the fence, we figure our life will be saved. So we cry for happiness. That kind of hit me. Senator Daniel Inoue recalls being with fellow Nisei World War II veterans as they witnessed the president sign the Congressional Gold Medal Bill. Well, we we're all smiling and we we're happy looking, but I think all of us must have had some emotional turmoil within us because we knew that what made it possible at that moment were the hundreds of men who gave their lives, who gave their limbs just so that our nation would recognize that they made a mistake. And this sacrifice by Nisei veterans helped to transform America. After the World War II incarceration experience, these veterans' wartime valor allowed Japanese Americans to take active leadership roles to change the perceptions, not only about their community, but of other minority groups. One such leader, Secretary Norman Mineta had the opportunity to share his experiences with President George W. Bush. Months later, in the wake of the tragedy of September 11th, a cabinet meeting was held with congressional leadership where the topic came up of possibly rounding up Arab Americans. In answer to this, President Bush stated, We don't want to have happen today what happened to Norm in 1942. And that was, to me, I mean, it was a shock that the president even said that. Nearly five million visitors come to the Smithsonian annually, where they will have the opportunity to see this medal and learn its significance. The Smithsonian is the nation's museums. People expect, as a national museum of American history, to tell stories of individuals that have national impact. For Japanese Americans and Asian Americans, it has immense value. It validates their experience. It's in the nation's capital that this is um, acknowledged. And for people for whom the knowledge is new, I think it's a worthwhile way to be exposed to new things. There's a temptation in every generation to think that things have always been the way they are, that whatever opportunities they have, they have always been present. They don't always know the struggle that went into bringing about a more free and equal society. I hope that many of them will perpetuate the story, because otherwise it could be forgotten. And it is an American story that must not be forgotten.